we're going to finish up our muscles by looking at some muscles in the anterior thorax and also the back. Um, we'll start with this muscle right here, which is the pectoralis major. If I was able to lift this up underneath, I can see the pectoralis minor. If I look alongside here at this muscle with this jagged edge, this is the serratus anterior because it's serrated like a knife. Next we can look at some muscles between the ribs. I'm going to get in close here. Here is the external intercostal muscle. Here is the internal intercostal muscle. And if I take this off, let me just unhook it here. We can also take a look at the internal intercostal muscles inside here. So again, from the outside, here was the internal intercostal and then external intercostal. Next, we have some abdominal muscles. This one that people are usually most familiar with up here, this is the rectus abdominis muscle. If we look alongside here, here we have the external oblique. If we cut this whole layer off the model, we can see a muscle underneath that. That is the internal oblique. And you could see that all of this is cut away because you could see the ribs on this side. Notice that you can't see them on this side. So external oblique, internal oblique. And then the innermost layer, we have to flip this around for, is the transversus abdominis here and here. And if this was on a cadaver, what I'd be able to do is actually peel through these layers and show you from most superficial to deep. So you can even see on this model, I can't pull them apart since it's plastic, but you could see external oblique, internal oblique, transversus abdominis. Or actually, let me keep this off. Inside the chest wall, we can see the diaphragm right here. And remember, you learned the diaphragm when you learned the abdominal quadrants and regions because this is what separated the chest cavity from the abdominal cavity. Before I flip the model over, let's just take a look at some muscles inside of here. Right here, and you can't see it as well. There we go. And right here, so on both sides, let's zoom in here and here, we have the quadratus lumborum or QL. And then in this view, we can also have a better view of the psoas major right here. And then that fan shaped muscle called the iliacus, together forming the iliop psoas. And now on the posterior side, we are going to be able to view some back muscles that we haven't covered yet. So we already looked at the rhomboid minor, but we can see the rhomboid major right down here. Then this large muscle going across here, this is the latissimus dorsi. We already covered the trapezius, but we can see it here and here. It's going to actually form a diamond shape. It's cut away on this side, so if I was to trace it out, it would go 
like that. We can also see one of the erector spine, spinae muscles. So right here and also down here, we have the longissimus group or longissimus thoracis. But all you need to say for your exam is erector spinae, but just realize there are more groups other than the longissimus group. We also have iliocostalis and also spinalis groups but they are not shown on any of our models.